Water. Earth. Fire. Air. Also light and dark. Long ago, the six attributes lived in harmony. Until one day, the water control deck attacked. Well, not so much attacked. Set and past her. Hey guys, it's Aremia. We are playing Yumi Control, specifically a more budget version of Yumi Control. Um, the deck actually only has four ultra rares um, specific to the archetype. So we have three copies of Kairu Shen and the one copy of Mega Fortress Whale. The rest are super rares or below, as you can see. Um, I kind of just assume that everyone has Ash Blossom. Um, anyway, as far as the extra deck goes, it really doesn't matter. I hardly ever go into the extra deck with this deck. So it's really nice to have Bahamut Shark and Totally Awesome, but we're probably just gonna banish them off of Pot of Extravagance anyway. So you can pretty much put whatever you want in here. You can put like Elemental Heroes, your favorite, you know, Flame Wingman or whatever you want, because it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're gonna just banish it for card draw anyway. Um, anyway, I'm having a ton of fun with Yumi Control lately, so let's just jump right into the games. Yumi Control on the play. So we're going to go searching for our uh, <laughs> Legendary Ocean, but they have Ash Blossom, so we are stuck. All we have is Ice Barrier and Sea Stealth Attack, and we don't even have that. <laughs> okay. Um, little do they know, uh, sending our Ice Barrier to the graveyard is actually good for us, um, uh, because we can activate Ice Barrier in Grave, banish it, and then bury our Worry of Atlantis, and then bring it back to hand, so that we can search Legendary Ocean again. Assuming they don't have, you know, a second Ash Blossom. Uh, and we draw Fish Sonar off the top, which is just incredible. Um, but they have Solemn Strike to negate our Warrior of Atlantis, so no searching for us. Um, however, what we can do is Fish Sonar, search for Electric Jellyfish, and I might have mentioned this in another game, but this is like the only combo that Yumi Control has, is uh, having Electric Jellyfish and then um, Special Summoning Kaidu Shin to do your little search and set combo. So Jellyfish is going to Special Summon Kaidu Shin from our uh, hand by sending a Legendary Ocean from deck to grave. Kaidu Shin going to search Sea Stealth Attack, set Sea Stealth Attack, uh, swing in obviously, and then change our response settings. So during their draw phase right here, we activate Sea Stealth Attack and then activate the Legendary Ocean from our graveyard. Um, so that's pretty much the only combo, like I said, uh, for Yumi Control. Um, but it does set up our sea stealth attack and it sets up um legendary ocean with our two with our one negation and our floodgate on uh Kaidu Shen. so uh, that's the main thing we're going for um but we have our spell negation off of um electric jellyfish so we get rid of their uh, lightning storm and you might have noticed that they didn't activate fallen valbaz that's because of how uh Kaidu Shen's effect works so it's a floodgate that prevents them from controlling more than one non-water monster so even though they would use fallen of albaz to fusion summon the way the game sees it is they have a a non-water monster on board that means that they can't do any effects that would add a different non-water monster to their field it's kind of silly how floodgates work, um, but that's how it works. So they can't actually use their Fallen of Albaz. Um, so unfortunate for them. And we draw another Jellyfish. And they scoop it up. GG's, that's what we're trying to do. Umi Control. Going second. And we are up against Sword Soul. So they're going to do their typical Moye combo go into their Qi Zhao, and then chain block the search on the Qi Zhao with Mo Ye. Uh, we do have Ash Blossom, but ashing a random draw just doesn't do a whole lot for us, so we want to save it for a better target. And they choose to go up to Baron de Fleur, which I would way rather deal with a Baron than I would a uh, Qi Zing. Um, and then they set a card in fast turn. So we draw Ice Barrier, 
we are going to go ahead and use our Warrior of Atlantis. And they use their Maxi. Um, really does not matter against this deck. Uh, one of the big draws, personally, to using this deck is that Maxi just... It, it's only going to draw them, like, one card, two, maybe, just because we don't special summon very much. Um, and Warrior of Atlantis is going to search our Legendary Ocean. So we're going to activate that, and that does get the negation off the Baron de Fleur. But we had another warrior, so we're going to search our second Legendary Ocean. And that lets us normal summon our Ocean Dragon Lord, Kairu Shin. So uh, he is level 4, because Legendary Ocean reduces the level of all water monsters uh, by 1, which is really good. And we're going to go ahead and try to use uh, Kairu Shin's ability to search a card. Um, oh, they also had to get rid of a, a monster because uh, Kairu Shin's a Floodgate. They can only control one non-water monster, which is really good. Um, and it doesn't actually start a chain. Just the fact that it is on board and they couldn't get rid of its summon, like they couldn't negate its summon with like a Solemn Judgment effect, uh, means they have to choose a monster to keep and choose a monster to get rid of. And of course, they get rid of the Baron because they already used its negation. So we're going to try to search our C Stealth Attack. In response, they're going to go Impermanence, but we had our one copy of Doom and Kraken in our hand, which is pretty lucky, but it actually lets us dodge two negations here, and I'll show you why. Um, so they're going to try to negate our Kairu Shen. We activate Doom Kraken in response, and we can bounce our Kairu Shen back to hand and destroy their Qi Zhao. So they're going to go ahead and use their Qi Zhao effect, because why not? But it doesn't actually stop our search ability. Um, just because it's going to be back in hand when it does uh, finish. And we grab our Sea Stealth Attack, set to uh, Ice Barrier is the other one, and pass turn. So they are going to go Ashuna, go for Tenyi, and then of course they're going to try to summon something with their Ashuna, but we saved our Ash Blossom for the right moment. So we're going to prevent that summon. And then they reveal that they have Long One, and manage to pause it right. So, as I said earlier, Legendary Ocean reduces the level of all water monsters by one. And, again, you probably know this, but Sword Soul really only goes up to level 8 synchros and level 10 synchros. And reducing the level of the token means they cannot synchro summon. So just the passive ability of level reduction from Legendary Ocean just wins us the game and they scoop it up here which i find so funny oh my goodness that's uh this matchup is really tough for sword soul that's so funny yumi control go in second and we're up against yumi control <laughs> so they grab a legendary ocean and foolish burial goods so that would send a copy of ice barrier which would let them get into their kairu shin so that's what we're going to go ahead and Ash Blossom. And they just set a card in past turn. Alrighty. So we're going to activate our own Legendary Ocean. So all water monsters are two levels lower. Fish Sonar. And then they Torrential Tribute both of our cards. <laughs> okay. And they go Kairu Shin, but we had a second Ash. So that's what we're going to get rid of. And so they are playing a general Raiho of the Ice Barrier. So Raiho is kind of like a weird floodgate. Whenever your opponent activates a monster effect, um, they have to discard a card in order to resolve the effect, um, which, you know, is fine. Uh, it's actually pretty funny. This is a level six monster. The only reason they can normal summon it is because we both have Legendary Ocean on field. Um, so like good for them, I guess. Uh, but we have another fish sonar. So we are going to go ahead and activate that. Go for Electric Jellyfish. And absolutely discard a card to summon Mega Fortress Whale. Swing over their Raiho. And pass turn. So we have a negate with our Jellyfish. They summon their own Jellyfish. And then they just scoop it up. GG's. Alright. Umi Control. On the play. And we have zero starters. So we set two cards. Pass turn. And they go Extravagance, basically Pot of Greed. So we are going to Ash Blossom that, and they go Dimension Shifter. So I'm thinking Flu, and it is confirmed. They have Eaglin, 
but uh, they aren't able to do anything else because they apparently don't have any of the other flu, like the level ones. Um, and they started Eaglin and not Rabina, so they couldn't do their typical uh, flu under ease combo that they do every single game. Um, so we draw a legendary ocean, which is pretty bad. <laughs> so normal summon Doom Kraken, swing over Eaglin, activate Sea Stealth Attack, and pass turn. You know, not really anything we can do. <laughs> and apparently flu bricked, which is always good to see. I, I do not like flu. Uh, so we swing in, pass turn again, because <laughs> we just drew another Ash Blossom. Which I guess is fine. Uh, if we play our cards right, we can negate one of their things. Um, they apparently had an Ash Blossom as well, <laughs> which has 1800 defense, so Doom Kraken cannot swing over it, unfortunately. Alright, so they finally drew a Fluandries, so they have Stree, and they get to do some of their combo here. Bring back their Eaglin. Cool, cool. And they tribute both off for uh, Fluandries and M Pen. So, in response to the summon. Here we go, come on. Okay, in response to this one, I wanted to wait so we can destroy more things with Torrential Tribute. We're gonna activate to try to destroy all cards on board. In response, they're going to try to search something. We have Ash Blossom for that. And we can banish our own Doom Kraken so it does not get destroyed by the Torrential Tribute. So the only thing that ends up getting destroyed is their M Pen. And that does end up shutting down their turn. They search for a Ryza and set a card. Cool, cool. All right, so we finally grab our Ocean Dragon Lord, Kaidu Shin. All right. So that's what we're going to do. And they're gonna play their Dream Town, Dreaming Town, that lets them normal summon during our turn. And that is a Stree. Okay. They're gonna try to do some things. Stree actually is water, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Um, but because Kaido Shin's on board, they won't be able to uh, to normal summon anymore um, in response. So I don't know why they. Uh, they didn't use Harpy's Feather Storm earlier. I feel like they should have, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, we aren't able to uh, get our search off, but it doesn't really matter. Our monsters are stronger than your tiny birds. So we swing over, and they, they just surrender. Cool, cool. Going first with uh, Yumi Control. I think most of the games for uh, for this video is going to be going first just because the deck doesn't do super great, you know, going second. Um, but we can do our Foolish Burial Goods, send Ice Barrier, uh, Banish Ice Barrier, add a uh, Kaido Shin. Um, and then we get set up with our Torrential Tribute and Sea Stealth Attack. Always remember to change your response settings to on so you can activate Sea Stealth Attack during your opponent's draw phase. And we are up against Cubix. Cubix is cool. Uh, Ash, obviously the reasoning, pretty important card to Ash. Um, so Cubic Causality is going to put a counter onto our Kaidushin, which would negate its effect, and that's not what we want, obviously. So if we activate and then banish it with Sea Stealth Attack, that means uh, that we still get that effect to trigger. So they cannot distribute any counters. We grab a Sea Stealth 2, which is also treated as Yumi. And lucky for us, uh, Sea Stealth Attack will also destroy their monster when we go to battle it. So, Vijam, immune to destruction by battle, but not from our busted continuous trap card. So, we have two of our Ocean Dragon Lords. They go Extravagance, set two. Cool, cool. Draw Fish Sonar, all right. And we grab Dark Reef, which is neat. So then we can summon Go Giga Gaga Gigo. Yes! I rule it, Tongue Twisters! Watch this! Gaga Gigo! Giga Gaga Gigo! Gaga! And also a uh, normal summon Electric Jellyfish. There you go, Cubic Ascension. That's fine. I don't terribly mind because we can just banish the jellyfish and then bring it back. Just like that. Cool, cool. So, Jellyfish is a monster and spell negation. 
Can't negate Super Poly, though. They go Mud Dragon of the Swamp. They bring out another v -jom. Go for Dooza. And we can bring back our Jellyfish. And they don't read their cards. There you go. Sometimes uh, Sea Stealth just works. Umi Control. Going first. And we have kind of an awkward start. Um, we can use Fish Sonar to search our uh, Kaidu Shin, though. And uh, we would be able to use Jellyfish, send one of our Yumi Field spells from deck to grave, and then special summon our Dragon Lord, search our Sea Stealth attack, and then uh, be able to activate the Yumi we sent from our grave, uh, sent from our deck to the graveyard. Uh, during our opponent's draw phase, but they do have an infinite impermanence. So that does stop our little combo. That's kind of the only combo that uh, Yumi Control has, is Jellyfish up to uh, Kaidushin. And then we find out they are uh, Shark. So uh, we Torrential Tribute their board, they play Pot of Desires, and as always, can't resist ashing a Pot of Desires, so that's what we do. And that does stop their turn. Cool, cool. Uh, we got pretty lucky. Um, but I guess there's a lot of copies of Yumi in the deck. But Warrior of Atlantis uh, discards to search our Legendary Ocean. So we can play it and summon our Kaidu Shin. Search our Sea Stealth Attack. Set past turn. Swing in for a little bit of damage. Uh, it is a little awkward, again, because we're up against sharks. So... They're mostly water monsters. <laughs> um, and I just did that so I could uh, protect our Kaidushin and then Torrential whatever they summoned. Um, this time we're going to grab Sea Stealth 2. Bring out Jellyfish and then banish it so it doesn't get destroyed at the end of the turn from our Sea Stealth 2. And we can just bring it back. So we are chipping away at them. And they have Gamma Seal, but, of course, not going to do anything at this point. They don't have any more cards, so I think they just kind of swing in and, and they know they're done. So GG's, well played Sharks. Uh, we did manage to out-control them, so cool, cool. Well, that is going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know, do the YouTube stuff. I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a great day, and God bless.